Hi, boys and girls. I'm Debbie Fry, back with Children's Liturgy of the Word after taking a short break over the summer. And we're returning on what is the 26th Sunday of Ordinary Time. And it seems strange to say those words, ordinary time, because during COVID-19, this is anything but ordinary. In fact, I kind of miss ordinary. I miss the things that were ordinary before COVID. And I wonder if you feel the same way too. But ordinary time in the church is actually a season like Christmas or Advent or Lent. And during the season of ordinary time, we spend time studying and learning about and celebrating those incredible years when Jesus was here on earth. Although those weren't very ordinary times either. I bet if you were alive back then, you would have thought that those were not ordinary times. I mean, think about it. People who had died came back to life. People who had never been able to see their entire lives, and all of a sudden they could see. Thousands of people came to Jesus and they were all hungry. They had no food. And all of them, thousands of them, were full, stuffed. And all Jesus had was a few little loaves and, and two fish. Well, that's not ordinary. But do you know what's at the heart of all of those stories? Jesus, right there in the middle of it, loving us, walking with us, explaining things to us, and leading the way. So maybe during COVID, ordinary time might be just exactly what we need. So we're going to begin Children's Liturgy of the Word with a song. This is a song we learned last spring. It's from our friends at Catholic Songs for Kids, Tyler and Joriel, and the song is Trust in the Lord with All Your Heart. And I decided to add a few hand motions, and they're from American Sign Language. And I think that'll make it more fun when we sing this song together. So first, I'm going to show you three signs. The first sign is the sign for trust. You're going to take your left hand, and then you're going to take your right hand sideways and place it like this, like a chop. Trust. You want to try that with me? Trust. Good. Now the sign for God or for Lord. Your same hand, your same right hand, and it's still flat and you're going to point it up to the sky. So you're going to say, Lord. Will you try it with me? Lord. Good. And now the sign for heart goes like this. You take your right hand and your second finger, and you're going to point to your heart with that finger, just like this. Heart. Will you try it with me? Heart. Perfect. So now when we put them all together, it looks like this. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Will you do it with me? Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Good. Now we're going to go ahead and sing it and Tyler's going to lead us. So sing with me and follow along so you can do the signs. Are you ready? Trust in the Lord with all your heart. 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 Trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Great job. And you know what might happen throughout the day today? You might hear that song in your mind. Like you might be out riding your bicycle or something, and you might hear that song in your mind. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. And do you know who's doing that? That's the Holy Spirit. 
That's God himself in a very sweet and gentle way, tapping you on the shoulder and saying, don't forget to trust me. Trust me with all your heart. I think that's a really important thing for us to remember during COVID. So now we're going to begin children's liturgy of the word. Of course, we're going to start by making the sign of the cross in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And today, on the 26th Sunday of Ordinary Time, we're going to begin with a reading from the prophet Ezekiel. Our God says, this is how I am. When people turn away from me and they sin, they are punished for it. But when people are sorry for their sins, change their lives and do what is right, they are not punished. They are saved. The word of the Lord. And boys and girls, say it with me. Thanks be to God. Good job. Now for our responsorial psalm, I'm going to say it first and then you say it after me. We will live with you, O God. We will live forever. We will live with you, O God. We will live forever. When we do what is right, we will live with you, O God. We will live forever. When we speak the truth, we will live with you, O God. We will live forever. When we keep our promises, we will live with you, O God. We will live forever. When we stand up for others, we will live with you, O God. We will live with you forever. Very good. And now we're going to sing a gospel alleluia. I'm going to sing it, and then I'm going to ask you to sing it with me. Are you ready? Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Will you sing it with me? Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. My sheep know my voice, says the Lord. And they follow me. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. And now we're going to hear the gospel. The gospel are the readings when we hear from Jesus himself. We hear his very words. Okay? So that's why at this part, we always stand. I'm going to go ahead and stay seated because of the camera, but I'm going to invite you to stand. I'm also going to teach you something else that's new. When I say the words, a reading from the Gospel according to St. Matthew, I want you to take your right thumb and I want you to make the sign of the cross on your forehead, on your mouth, and on your heart. And do you know why we do that? It's a blessing. And we're asking that God will make these beautiful, sacred words from Jesus stay on our minds, pass through our lips to other people, and live in our hearts. Okay? So wait for it, and you can follow me when the time comes. Okay, boys and girls? Are you standing? Good. Here we go. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the chief priests and the leaders of the people, I'm going to tell you a story, and you tell me what you think about it. There was a man who had two sons. One day he said to one of them, Son, I want you to go out and work in the vineyard today. And the boy said, no, I won't go. But later the boy was sorry that he had said no to his father. And so he did go. The father then said to his other son, Son, I want you to go out and work in the field today. And the second son said, Yes, father, I will go and work. But he did not go. And then Jesus asked, Now tell me, which boy did what the father wanted him to do? 
the first or the second? The leaders answered, the first son. Jesus said to them, I am telling you the truth. People whom you look down on as sinners are going to enter the reign of God before you do. Because when John the Baptist came and preached the truth, you didn't believe him. But the people you looked down on as sinners believed him and changed their lives. And even after you saw that they believed and changed their lives, you still didn't believe or change your lives. Boys and girls, the gospel of the Lord. And say it with me. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good job. Go ahead and take a seat for me. Now, this is one of those stories where it almost sounds like Jesus is trying to trick us, but he's not. He has no interest in tricking us. He's trying to explain something to us. And he uses a story to do it. He tells a story of two brothers. And their dad asks both of them, will you go and work in the field? And the first son says no, but then later on he thinks, yeah, you know, I should probably go. And he does the right thing. And then the second brother says, yeah, sure, I'll do it, dad. And then he never shows up. And Jesus says, okay, so which one of those brothers did what God wanted? Now, when I hear that story, I almost think, I think they both got it wrong because I'm a mom. And when I tell my kids to do something, like I tell them to set the table or empty the dishwasher, I want them to say, yes, mom, I'll do it. And then I want them to do it. I want both, right? But Jesus is showing us in this story that God's ways are not our ways. God doesn't look at things the way we do. Of course he doesn't, he's God. Right? So Jesus is showing us how God looks at this. And what does God say? Does God say that the first son got it right or the second son? That's right, it was the first son. Is that what you would have guessed? Is that what you would have thought? That it was the first son? And when Jesus says the father in this story, who do you think he's talking about? That's right, God. God is the father in this story. And he's giving us an example of how God asks his children to do things and that there's a right way and a wrong way to respond. Let me give you an example. What about forgiveness? God says, I'll forgive you anything, but I expect you to forgive others the same way I forgive. Okay? And we say, every time we pray the Our Father, we say, yes, we will do that. We say, forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. So that's like saying, okay, Lord, yes, we will forgive others just the way you forgive us. But do we do it really? Or do we refuse to forgive people who have hurt us? That's like being like the second son. God wants us to be like the first son. So even if we don't want to forgive somebody, later on we'll think about it and say, well, yeah, God does forgive me everything. So I'm supposed to forgive others too. So even though I don't want to, even though I don't think they deserve it, I'm going to go ahead and forgive them. That's what this story means. So how about we say a quick prayer right now and we ask God to help us to always be like the first son. Ready? Go ahead and bow your head. Heavenly Father, thank you for sending your son, Jesus. Thank you for sending him to explain to us how you see things when we make choices. That was a really great way of explaining it. I understand it better now. And now, Lord, I ask you to give me strength so that I can always be like the first son. Thank you, Lord. Amen. And now we're going to do the prayers of the faithful. Do you remember what those are? That's when we all pray together for the same things. Our individual prayers, when it's just us talking to God, just the two of us, those are very powerful. 
But when a lot of us come together and we say, okay, let's all ask God for the same thing, well, that's really impactful. And that's what we're going to do now. They're called the prayers of the faithful. And I'm going to say a prayer. And if you want to join me in that prayer and join everybody else in that prayer, you're going to say, Lord, hear our prayer. Okay? Are you ready? Here we go. For our families, those we see every day and those that we can't see right now, may God strengthen our family with his love. We pray to the Lord. Boys and girls, say it with me. Lord, hear our prayer. For our schools, that God will bless them so that they will be a safe place for children to learn and grow, we pray to the Lord. Boys and girls, say it with me. Lord, hear our prayer. For the children who are distance learning from home, may they always feel included and wanted, even though they're physically separate from their schools. We pray to the Lord. Boys and girls, say it with me. Lord, hear our prayer. For the doctors, frontline workers, scientists, government officials, and everyone who is working to serve us all during COVID-19. May God bless them for all their hard work. We pray to the Lord. Boys and girls, say it with me. Lord, hear our prayer. And for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, our Bishop, Bishop Crosby, our priests, Father Isaac and Father Nichelle, may they continue to shine a light of Jesus for everyone who needs it right now. We pray to the Lord. Boys and girls, say it with me. Lord, hear our prayer. Very good. Well, that's all for today for Children's Liturgy of the Word. I'll be back next week. Don't forget to click subscribe and also turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of these videos as I post them. I'm glad to be back with you. I'm looking forward to continuing our journey through ordinary time during these very extraordinary times of COVID-19. Until we see each other again, be safe, be well, peace be with you. And Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Trust in the Lord with all your heart.